Hello my friends, Hank here with some breaking news from the wonderful world of scale modeling. I'm making a bold prediction here. The kits we're about to discuss might just be the must-have kits of 2024. Now, that might be a wild prediction, but hear me out because I think there's something to this. Today we're talking about Border Model, a relatively new company that's put out some seriously impressive 135 scale armor and aircraft kits on the market since they first came around in 2019. Right now they've got around 50 kits available, including the phenomenal 135 scale BF-109G that they released in 2021. I've got a few videos on that kit in particular, I'll link to them right here if you'd like to check them out. But what I'm excited about that Border is up to right now are some ongoing figure releases that they're working on. So today we're talking about two kits, possibly leading to a third kit, that I believe will be absolute must-buys in 2024. Now I'd be willing to bet that if you're at all interested in building 135 scale armor kits, at some point you've wanted to add some infantrymen riding into battle on the outside of your tank. It's a common sight that's depicted in a lot of historical photographs from World War II and in contemporary media about the Second World War in movies like Fury or the TV series Band of Brothers. But at the moment, there aren't a ton of manufacturers making high quality 135 scale tank rider sets. There are some really nice resin sets by smaller manufacturers, but sometimes those can be tricky to get a hold of. And there is a small variety of plastic kit offerings depicting tank riders, particularly from Dragon and from Mini Art. But for my preference though, I don't love the mini art figure kits. I think they're a little bit too large scale wise and the detail just isn't as crisp as we've come accustomed to with figures from other major brands like Tamiya, for example. Now, Border Model might be onto something big here. There's a bit of a hole in the market and from the looks of these images that we're about to check out, I think they nailed it. Just earlier this year, Border released the first kit in what I think is becoming a full series. This is BR-004 World War II Soviet tank descent troops. It's a five figure kit, all high quality sculpted resin figures, and they're in some fantastic riding positions to add to the back of your latest T-34 build. Take a look at these guys. We've got some really nice PPSH molds, a couple of moistened rifles, and a few of the figures are even wearing some super crisp Ushanka hats. And a particularly nice touch, one of the figures has very clearly defined Asian facial features. As many as 8 million troops of non-Slavic descent fought in the Red Army in World War II, though we don't often see diverse sculpts in Soviet figure sets on the market, so that's great. Now as for the name, Soviet Tank Descent Troops. Tank Descent is a very specific doctrinal name describing infantry troops actively going into battle on the back of a tank to provide close infantry support. The name comes from the French descendre to get down or to get off of. And the concept of tank descent troops was only formally implemented in the most technical sense by Soviet mechanized cavalry during World War II. Published field manuals from the period specifically discussed troops riding aboard tanks to help stave off attacks from enemy anti-tank personnel, and Soviet tanks through the middle of the 20th century were actually designed with external handholds, specifically designed for this purpose. So it makes sense that Border started with the Soviet troop set because they were the originators of this practice. This figure kit, BR-004, is currently available from major modeling retailers at around 48 US dollars. And you're probably thinking to yourself, whoa, 50 bucks for a figure pack? But think about this. On average, a high quality resin figure set runs you around 15 bucks times five figures. That's getting you up to around $75. What Border's done here is bundled a full set of brand new figures to the market and shaved off 25 bucks of what you'd be paying for individual figures. Not a bad plan, if you ask me. Now. This is where I think things start to get interesting. Border recently announced another World War II tank descent set, this time of German Panzer Grenadiers. Now take a look at these molds. I love this level of detail and in such an interesting variety of poses. This rifleman on the left loading the stripper clip into his Car 98, sign me up right now. Now this particular kit from Border is gonna be called World War II German Tank Descent Troops. It's kit number BR005 and it's only available for pre-order at the moment from select scale modeling retailers. It looks like these guys are scheduled to hit the shelves around January of 2024, and I'm guessing that they're gonna go pretty quick. If we go off the Soviet pack, I'd imagine these are gonna be right around 50 bucks, which again is a steal for five resin figures. I will definitely be picking this set up, and you know what? I'm probably gonna pre-order it as soon as we finish recording here. So, should probably get to that. You'll recall I mentioned, however, that the Soviets were the only ones that had proper tank descent troops during World War II. That said though, pretty much every nation fighting in the conflict had infantry riding tanks into battle at one point or another. German Panzer Grenadiers, while they weren't directly instructed to ride tanks into combat zones, of course worked in close cooperation with their armored counterparts. And if that means hopping on the engine deck to provide some cover, you better bet they're gonna be up there. 
And now this leads me to where I'm going to start to speculate, but I have a really good feeling that this trend of figure packs from Border will continue. Right now, as I mentioned, Border only has around 50 kits on the market, and most of them are German or Soviet World War II vehicles. They do, however, have two allied offerings, both British Crusaders, a Mark II and a Mark III, respectively. I fully expect that we'll be getting more allied vehicles from Border in the next year and beyond. And if you're following me here, I bet we're going to get some allied descent troops, too. There's plenty of footage out there of USGIs, Marines, Commonwealth troops, catching a ride aboard a Sherman or a Cromwell, you name it. And if Border continues this trend and makes a high-quality set of U.S. infantry riding on tanks, I'm thinking even a figure man in the Ma Deuce up on top of the Sherman turret, they've got themselves a gold mine. So that's my call. I'll throw it out there right now. I bet these German descent troops are going to be a very popular pickup for all sorts of 135 scale modelers next year. And if Border follows it up with the U.S. pack, then they are going to have the must-have kit of the year. I'll tell you, my fingers are crossed. So there you have it, folks. Will you be picking up one of these new Border Model Tank Descent Troop Packs? Let me know in the comments below. And be sure to subscribe right here to Sprues and Brews Scale Modeling for weekly modeling tutorials, history chats, and breaking news from the wonderful world of plastic modeling. Until next time, my friends, be well, happy building, cheers.